folks I, you know i'm getting really really nervous at this point in time and i'm getting nervous because of uh the latest rhetoric uh issued uh by mr trump uh ticking off uh china and also uh, i guess you could almost call it drawing a line in the sand with north korea donald trump needs a win and he needs a win of bad um Donald Trump suffered a bunch of uh, losses uh, during this past week and or potential losses. Uh, the number one loss that he took this week, in my opinion, was his attempt to uh, ban those six countries. The judiciary has stepped in once again and placed the hold on his ban claiming again that it's unconstitutional and they are in my opinion absolutely right this is nothing but a thinly veiled uh, ban on uh, Muslims because Mr. Trump made a promise that he was gonna ban all Muslims until we can uh, get our extreme uh, vetting uh, programs into place well I'm still waiting uh, to hear uh, what the those extreme vetting uh, additions are going to be and I can't find any information whatsoever on them now funny thing about it um, I think um, his uh, military guys got him in a room closed the door and told them and told him point blank that if he didn't pull Iraq off of that list uh, he was going to be directly responsible for the death of uh, American uh, military personnel so um, like magic 30 days later um, after the initial executive order Iraq somehow uh, is no longer on that list so that, that's that's just window dressing but that's that was his probably biggest loss his second biggest loss in my opinion was that bullshit tweet that he put out regarding uh, being wiretapped by Obama everybody and their brother is coming out against him and the only one that's supporting him is his own employee uh sean spencer um and they're coming out with one lie to cover another lie okay number one obama did not wiretap him number two obama didn't call over to the united kingdom and ask their uh cia has other letters, but in effect, it's their CIA to wiretap Trump. Um, he had absolutely no proof of that. He had no proof that uh, he was being wiretapped by the CIA or the FBI. This guy is just spinning bullshit, and it's getting really, really thick, and it's going to be really, really dangerous when something does go down, and he asks uh, leaders around the world uh, to accept uh, what he's saying on face value. That ain't gonna happen. So um, he took a pretty sizable hit there. He's going to take a hit on the American Health Care Act. That supposedly is coming up for a vote on Thursday. He got on TV claiming to be 100% behind it, claimed that he uh, has convinced uh, several uh, members of the House of Representatives to switch sides where they were supposedly formerly no's and now they're yeses. I don't believe that for a minute. And there are reports uh, that some of the people that were in the room, the House of Representative members that were in the room at the time, uh, came out later on and said, nah, they hadn't changed their mind, so they don't know what he was talking about. So he's definitely, he and Paul Ryan are going to take a hit uh, this coming Thursday when they bring that particular bill to the floor for a vote. The next hit that he's taken is his proposed budget. That budget is an abortion. And people are not going to put up with all of the cuts to the social programs, cuts on things like Meals on Wheels, cuts on uh, things like uh, basically gutting the EPA because most people believe that we need clean air and clean water, okay? Um, cuts on uh, affordable housing, which 
he doesn't think that we need affordable housing because he's never lived in affordable housing, obviously. Okay. Um, but we can afford to kick in another $54 billion on an already bloated uh, defense budget. Now, I don't know whether that $54 million is legit, you know, legitimately needed or not. And the reason why I don't know, and neither do you, and neither does anybody else, is the Defense Department is the only department in the U.S. government that cannot be audited. Now, I don't know if that's by law or not, but if it is by law, they need to change that law. We need to get in, audit the Defense Department to see exactly where $600 billion annually is going. And I suspect that once an audit's done, you're going to see a lot of uh, pockets being lined at the expense of uh, middle class and um, under middle class uh, people's uh, tax revenues are concerned. So we need to definitely audit the uh, Defense Department. Now, I don't have a problem with them increasing the budget for the Veterans Administration. Those guys deserve every dime um, that we uh, need to spend on them. They gave us a service that guys like Donald Trump damn sure uh, didn't uh, want to provide. They've come back, wounded warriors, physically, mentally, etc. And we need to take care of our guys. That's just straight out the way I feel about it. And nothing that anybody can say is going to change my mind. They need to get that, the health care uh, that they were promised and that they rightfully deserve. As far as uh, Homeland Security is concerned, fuck that wall. $2.9 billion allocated uh, in addition to their normal budget. Uh, to increase the number of ICE uh, officers out there and to build that wall. Donald Trump, you said Mexico was going to pay for that wall. Either they pay for that wall or the wall doesn't get built. As simple as that. But again, back to the uh, losses. Now that's basically four losses that he suffered this week. That man needs a win and he needs a win badly. And I am afraid that the win he's going to be looking for is going to have something to do with North Korea. And if that happens, that is not going to be a land war, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be a war uh, from the sea and from the air. And um, in my opinion, there will be missiles flying. Now, they may not have the ability to hit us, but they damn sure have the ability to hit uh, a bunch of our allies, including South Korea, uh, Japan, uh, etc. So if something goes down, um, you're going to be looking for like a major blowout. And that does not even include the possibility of China getting involved. And they were, again, were another country that uh, Mr. Uh, Trump pissed off uh, this week. So... Keep your eyes open. I hope you got uh, plenty of uh, rations or preps uh, in uh, your home because if something actually goes down, there's going to be a mass run on trying to procure uh, various items because more than likely uh, supplies are going to be cut short to a bunch of stores, even though obviously nothing specifically is going to be going on here that I'm aware of. And, but again, you never know. Um, anytime there's like a major uh, rainstorm, snowstorm, uh, earthquake, etc., there's always a run on stuff. So I'm just thinking that uh, if there's any type of a major uh, political upheaval, i.e., uh, going to get into another war with somebody, uh, people are going to get really, really nervous and decide to stock up.